everyone and welcome back to my channel. This look I've done is a little bit dramatic, a little bit dark, but today's been quite gloomy and wintry, so I felt like doing something smoky and a little bit more of a wintry vibe. Um, I've got some cool new products that I've been playing with in this video, so you'll get to see those. So a couple of them are first trial trials for me and absolutely love them. So if you want to see how this look is done, please keep watching. And if it's a video that you have enjoyed, please hit the thumbs up. And if you want to keep up to date with my videos and just see what I'm up to, hit the subscribe button down below. I upload every week and I'm always posting up photos and new things that I'm trying. So definitely keep you up to date with what I'm doing. So if you would like to see how this look is done, then please keep watching and I hope you enjoy. So I'm going to start off by using the Revlon Photo Ready Primer. I got this about a week ago and I'm absolutely loving it. I feel like it really does hold your foundation in place and it's just another primer that I like. I do have quite a few that I enjoy using but I'm enjoying this one for a change. And for foundation I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Coverage HD High Definition Long Wear Illuminating Foundation. I use the shade Natural and this is perfect for when I've got a fake tan on. It would be way too dark if I didn't have any tan on. But this foundation I'm absolutely loving as well. This has pretty much become my daily go-to at the moment, especially for work. Um, it's got a really great coverage, but it also has that nice shine to it, so it looks not too heavy, not too full. And for concealer, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade Fair. And to set under my eyes, I'm using the Australis Banana Powder. Just a little bit of that under your eyes. Don't, well, I don't like to use too much powder under my eyes because it can get a little bit cakey. So just, I like to just dust a small amount. And another product that I've been using lately and I'm really enjoying is the LA Girl Pro Face. This is a high definition matte pressed powder. And this is a really good setting powder just to dust all over your face once you've applied your foundation. And although it does have a matte finish, it doesn't leave everything looking too heavy or too cakey. It definitely still has a nice soft glow to it. And for brows, I'm using the Maybelline Brow Satin in Medium Brown. And for my eyes today, I'm going to be using the NYX Love in Paris palette. This is so adorable, there's a little bow to open it up, which is super cute. And the shades in here are a beautiful range. There's lots of different looks you could do with this, from natural to quite smoky. And I'm thinking I might use some of the darker shades and do a little bit of a smoky look, not too heavy, but, so we'll have a little play with this and see where we end up. But to start with, I'm just gonna use the lightest shade here, which is, if I look on the back here, is shade six. And I'm just going to dust that all over my lid, just as a base to get started. And then I'll be using the shade right next to it, which is shade 5. This I'm going to use just slightly above my crease, and this is going to be our transition shade. So if you have a look in the mirror, you see where your crease is. So mine is here. I'm just going to go slightly above it and in the crease as well, but just bringing it up a little bit towards the brow bone and then we'll use the darker shades moving further down and into the crease a bit more. So next I am going to take the black, which is shade 4 on this palette. I'm not going to go too heavy handed to start with, I'm going to build up, but I'm going to start by placing it along my outer V and into the crease. and just blend that in. And then what I'm gonna do is the shade that we've used for the transition shade, I'm just gonna lightly dip my brush into that color as well 
and just dust over that area where it is transitioning into the lighter shade just to soften it up just that little bit more and just to make that really look seamless. And so now I'm going to take a little concealer brush and my concealer and I'm just going to block out this front area of my lid because there's a nice shim shade in here and I want to see how nice and shimmery that will look and it might just be the perfect little pop for this look. So you're just taking your concealer and you're just blocking out this front part of the lid. Then I'm going to use this soft shimmer shade here. So I'm just going to pack that all along where we've just put that concealer. Oh, that's so pretty. That's beautiful. And then without adding any product to your blending brush that you've used with the black, just drag that over the edge just to blend that in and slightly bring it in to this outer corner just so it softens that up a little bit so it's not just a harsh line where you put your concealer. And just for the excess that's on my damp beauty blender, I'm just going to sweep up the side of that eyeshadow like that just to clean up that edge. So obviously because it is a little bit of a darker look, I'm going to use a bit of black eyeliner. And this is the LA Girl Glide Gel Liner. So I'm going to run that through my tight line. And not directly in my waterline, just along where my lashes go. You can see the difference just from running that through your tight line, just how much it deepens where your lashes are. Now I do have lash extensions on at the moment, so if I didn't, I would definitely do a coat of mascara and put some strip lashes on, so totally up to you. And so now I'm just going to run the same liner just along where my lashes are, my bottom lashes. taking a very small fluffy brush, dipping it into that transition shade again, and blending that into that liner that we've just put on, and just softening that liner. And then, not adding any product, just buffing out that eyeliner just a little bit more. And now I'm gonna take the smallest amount of the black shadow, and just run that directly underneath. You can see that's nicely smoked out. You don't, I didn't want it to be too harsh, just nice and soft just underneath my eye. And then because you've got a heavier lower lash, um, I'm gonna do a wing just to finish it off. And I'm going to try out the LA Girl Fine Line Long Lasting Fine Tip Liquid Eyeliner. So I'm going to give this one a go. I usually always, this is my absolute right or die, the Rimmel London Glam Eyes Liquid Liner. I've used this for years. It's always my go-to for my wings, but I do like to try new products. But yeah, that is always the one that I grab for. This is actually really, really good. It's super easy to use. It's probably really good if you 
just starting out with liquid liners. It's um, yeah, it's pretty pretty easy, and it's just like holding a pen rather than with the glam eyes. It is um, a completely separate little brush. So this would yeah, this would be quite good if it's something new to you that you're trying with liquid liner. This would be quite a good one. Yeah, I really like that liquid liner. It's really easy to use and it's got a really nice finish. It's got a matte finish to it. So yeah, I definitely recommend that. Really liked it. So to finish the rest of my face off, I'm going to contour with the LA Girl Pro Conceal. I do usually do two coats of the contour just under my cheeks because I do like a strong contour. I do like that to be quite well defined. And then for blush, I'm going to use the Becky Jackson Hill palette and I am going to use this darker shade here. And for highlight, I'm going to use the LA Girl Strobe Light Strobing Powder, and this is the 90 Watt. I absolutely love these, look at that. There are so many different shades as well, I, I honestly want to get all the shades just to play with because they're so beautiful. So I'm just placing that in my inner corner. I'm actually just going to put a little bit along my lid like that and just cover my brow bone and it would probably help if I bring it in the contour of my nose I just all the time I put it on and then by the end of finishing my makeup I look at it and realise that I haven't actually blended it in which is not such a great look and I'm going to put a little bit of highlight just up that line on my nose and on the tip and I like to dust a little bit along my forehead. And just some mascara for my lower lashes. I'm not going to put it along the top, like I said, because of my lash extensions. Um, but I'm going to use the Maybelline, oh, Maybelline, the Maybelline Falsies Volume Express Mascara. And for lips, I'm going to use the me lipstick from Life Glam. I'll put the link down below um, my first video of all my Life Glam products and where you can order them from. They're absolutely incredible. And um, this is the Satin Sheets shade. And so that's the finished look. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions at all, please just comment down below and let me know. But I hope you liked some of these new products I've been playing with as well and enjoyed this look. It's a little bit more dramatic, a bit dark, but I feel like something a little bit different. Hope you all have an amazing week and I will talk to you again soon. See ya!